This is what happens when uh, Chubbs is on the wheel and Frosty's... Oh! <laughs> hey everybody, now I know that this might not look like a familiar place for a Chinchilla channel, but welcome to my first ever video for the Chinchilla Fam channel. The name, we're still working on it, but today's video is talking about your chinchillas overheating during the summertime, or basically how to prevent them from overheating. We're going to talk about the basics knowledge that you should know in order to prevent this from happening and some things that you can buy so that your chinchilla can be more comfortable during the summertime. I guess also if you might just live in a really hot place, maybe it might not be the best idea to buy a chinchilla. Uh, hopefully your weather is semi-normal where it gets colder during the winter and you know, this video is only for you during the summertime when it starts getting really, really hot. Now, before I show you my really, really cute chinchillas reacting to one of the ledges that I bought, the ledge that I bought was called an Arctic ledge. It was made off of Etsy. And as a chinchilla owner, Etsy is one of my best friends and sometimes Amazon and maybe the local pet store. But Etsy, I've gotten so many amazing supplies off of Etsy from other creators that are making amazing chinchilla ledges and stuff and this one's very specific it's called the arctic ledge and i got a single and i got a why well, i was supposed to get a double but they accidentally sent me a triple and the amazing thing about these arctic ledges is they actually you can slide in and I, you guys will be seeing in a video shortly you could slide in tile and that tile you can then cool down in your freezer or fridge and then once that's cold it, from you know being of course in the freezer or the fridge you can then let your chinchillas lay down on top of it or sit down just to cool off. It is a great way for them to cool off. If you are worried about the condensation, just flip it over, um, depending on what the towel you have, or just wipe it down with a rag, or literally you can put a very light uh, towel over it so that it, they don't get wet from that. Another suggestion that I have, which you probably saw in my freezer, was a chiller granite stone. So this is just basically a rock, a granite and you could just put it in your freezer and then when you wanna take it out, they can just literally lay down on top of that. That's another great way to keep your chinchillas cold. And again, if you are worried about the condensation because we all know that chinchillas cannot get wet, then you could just put a light towel over it or rub it off before um, it starts condensating or while it's condensating. You could basically just figure out, but again, it is very important to keep them cool during these really, really warm times. So if they are gonna get a little bit wet, then you know it will be worth it so that they are able to cool down and then give them a dust bath right after. That is just in case you accidentally get them wet from this whole process. There's a couple other things that you can actually do. These are the things that I don't have, um, but you can actually get like a metal or some kind of like uh, metal. I guess it would be, let me, okay, it does not have to be metal. It would be stainless steel. That is something that you'd want to maybe find someone on Etsy who makes stainless steel ledges. And then because those are just cold in general, then they'll be a lot cooler than their normal wood ledges and it would be a great place for them to lay down on. I don't personally have something like that because I invested in different types of ledges just now. And um, you know what, let's you know stop me talking and let me show you guys me installing these Arctic ledges, which I think are absolutely amazing. All right, before we install the ledges, I wanna give a rundown of what ledges I will be replacing. So I'm gonna be replacing these two for the giant long one that I got, the triple Arctic ledge, whatever it's called. The, the one that has tiles in it to allow for them to, uh, to cool off during summertime. So here's Chubbs. She's a little bit sassy and she just actually went in with Frosty. These two are bonded. I'll be making videos all about this um, in different videos, but for now, here is Snowy's cage. And so I'm gonna be replacing this right here because it's a little hard for her to jump on. So having the Arctic ledge, uh, the one one should be perfect right here for her. Um, and I might lower it a little bit and um, replace this for now. I have, I bought two of those just to kind of, I think maybe two or three to test these little, uh, these little things out. So um, I'll be making videos on a lot of these stuff. And I guess uh, there she is. If you guys want to see what snowy looks like. Um, but I'll be, uh, you know, making a ton of videos about all these different, oh God, Chubbs, eating her own poop. I'll, I'll literally, I'll make videos on all this stuff. Um, but for now, let's, uh, I'm trying to show Frosty. I don't know if you guys can see her. But uh, yeah, let's have a uh, before and after. So that's the two ledges that I'm replacing. Chinchillas are very, very smart and always super curious. I literally just removed this and she's like, what is happening? What happened? to my sanctuary. She's also very sassy. All of them have different personalities. And so, um, yeah, she's very curious about 
She's very curious about me switching up right here, so let's see what she does. And then the other two are cuddling over there. Alrighty, so because this whole channel is based off of like tutorials and tips and tricks, I will show you um, exactly what comes with this whole Etsy thing. It's kind of like showing how to install this extra thing, which actually I didn't realize that there's little holes on the side here. So I, I think this just gives it extra support, but I think that these two on the back will be good enough support from what I've seen from what, you know, a lot of my ledges, uh, you know, got here. So anyways, um, one thing that a lot of uh, Etsy places kind of forget is to put a multiple of these, but I think they did well this time. But uh, these things right here, you can actually just get at like Home Depot or your your local uh, you know hardware store or whatever. So if if they ever forget these, you know they're super super cheap, um, and these are really really great things to have to help protect your cage and also keep it stable. And um, yeah, we'll just install it real quick. Here we go. It is installed, and I actually now have the chinchilla's mom, Ella. She's gonna be here to help install the bigger one because a lot of these you actually need help with installing them. So oh, yeah. <laughs> um, this one was, I could have done by myself. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll look at what all of these little features do maybe tomorrow um, when I put the tiles on here or whatever. Uh, well, in today's video, but tomorrow for us. But for now, let's install the big boy one while the two over there are still cuddling. Hopefully they don't get super <laughs> curious. I just, tr I'm, I'm trying to film this while holding, while Ella is also helping. You but Chubbs like always does this. Are you sure? Yep. She always, whenever we're installing it, I have to hold it up because she's so curious about it. Okay. a brand new thing being installed. But yeah, now we have one really, really long thing right there. Um, and tiles. Oh, you're already pooping. Great. <laughs> um, but yeah, tiles will go here. I will show you guys how that looks tomorrow. But for now, the chinchillas are going to be sleeping a little bit more. And then we're going to sleep as well. But um they also will be uh, exploring them and checking them out and chewing on them. These are safe for them to chew. I mean, already Chubbs is chewing on it. She already chunked a piece out of this. Um, and then here comes Frosty. This this is basically what happens. Chinchillas are so curious and um, they're like, wow, something new. And this is really, really good for them. It allows for them, <laughs> Frosty's so skittish right now. It allows for them to just be uh, stimulated, um, but also, this will help cool them off during the summertime. So, gosh, she is already tearing into it. Or she's like, yeah, this is great. This is a new stick. Chubbs. Did you uh, tell them what chewing, uh, yeah, chewing gum stuff means? Huh? Did you tell them what chewing gum stuff means? Like when they bite on something? No, I mean, like, this video is just about the summertime and uh, cooling them off with different things. But I will definitely ha make more videos talking about everything. Okay, well, anyways. Goodbye, chinchillas. Goodbye. Hey, Frosty, Chubbs, and Snowy. Chubbs, come here. Let me see. Frosty is so... Frosty's like, I don't know about this. She's, She's like... smelling her poop. Uh, Chubbs' poop. <laughs> but yeah, biting is just a way for chinchillas to kind of like figure out what it is. And it's also good for their teeth. You don't want their teeth to grow too big. Come here. Let's see some... I uh... hope oh, Chubbs is about to see. We can put a, uh, a new little... I don't know, we put this, we put something there, and now we realize that Chubbs likes to just, you know, she kind of just likes to hang out. Oh, Frosty, she's so, like, nervous right now with, uh, it, it kind of takes Frosty a while to get used to things, so she's really skittish about things. She, I think she, I think one of, she's one of the rare chinchillas that she just doesn't like change. Snowy fell asleep. Okay, so like I said, the next day I'm gonna be showing you guys what it looks like when you put the tile in. Sorry, Snowy, she just got scared. Um, but yeah, I would suggest maybe wiping it down or waiting until it cools off a little bit so that it starts condensating, or again, maybe wrap it with a very, very small towel or something like that. But basically, all they can do is just lay down on top of it and it's very cold, it will definitely calm them down. And then there's a little hole at the bottom here, which I actually used to, I guess Snowy hung out uh, on this ledge because she was all curious about it last night. And so there's there's some poop. I mean, I guess there's still some there. That's, you know, typical of owning a chinchilla. Uh, 
but I actually just pushed it all down this hole and then put my little th little thingy there so that it would clean up. And um, then you can also use this hole to then push out the tile so it's easy to take out. So these things are great. So some more tips and maybe some facts that you guys didn't know. Chinchillas, they again are naturally cold animals. A safe level of heating for them would be anywhere between 60 to 70 Fahrenheit. And if it starts going above then they do have a chance of overheating. And that's why 75 is like risky, but it is doable with all these extra things that you can try and cool them down during that. Um, I would definitely say you need to have air conditioning. And you know, this is why chinchillas are very expensive as pets. And a lot of pets, like Pet Smarts, Pet Co's, or pet stores, they just sell chinchillas without really giving people educational knowledge on chinchillas themselves. And I have three chinchillas right now, like you guys saw. Uh, two of them came from the pet store and one of them came from a breeder. And after doing intense research on chinchillas, even talking to an amazing breeder, I'm able to give you guys a bunch of tips, tricks, and information and make this channel educational so that people can understand how to properly and healthy, healthily, or make sure that your chinchilla is healthy enough when you are, you know, you just make sure your chinchilla is happy. And that's the whole point of this channel. I want you guys to be able to have a happy home, safe home for your chinchilla, like all the things that I've learned, whether it's trial and error. Um, and I'll be making more videos about that on this channel. Um, but again, air conditioning is definitely a must when it's really, really hot because again, chinchillas cannot sweat naturally. So putting a fan on them isn't really going to do much. If you do have an air conditioning and then maybe a fan to like, you know, spread the air around that might help a little bit but chinchillas are expensive if you don't have an air conditioning in your home and it starts getting really hot i would suggest investing in one of those air conditioning like the little solo air conditioning units for one room or something and then just put that up against a window and then put your chinchillas in that one room or your coldest room because the last thing you guys want is your furry little friends your family i mean to me they definitely are my family they also are like my therapy pets and you would not want them to pass away because of a uh an overheating issue. So um, these are just some tips and tricks that I've learned. This is like probably the biggest worry that I would have ever is my chinchillas overheating. And I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of uh, more advice if you guys wanted to learn a little bit more about uh, what I learned. And so that's what this channel is gonna be about. Um, the links will be in the description. I will be having links to a lot of the things that I bought, um, whether it's the ones that I talked about in today's video or maybe just um, you know the cage accessories and stuff that I've gotten in the past. I will definitely be updating this channel as time goes on. But for now, this is just kind of like a basic video talking about some ways that I'm cooling down my chinchillas during summertime when it gets really hot. And then also, you know, showing off my cute little chinchillas. I will be making more videos, maybe just showing them, you know, being cute and stuff. But I also want to make some educational videos like the one today. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching today's video. And if you guys didn't know, I am a YouTuber. I, I have a pretty successful YouTube channel for mobile gaming if you guys were just curious but this is kind of like a little passion project that i want to do on behalf of the chinchilla community on youtube because one of my favorite chinchilla uh, youtubers who i learned a lot from and uh, you know not all the information that they gave was spot on and i don't think all the information that i'm going to give is spot on because chinchillas are still um you know they're still animals that are very very new in terms of people learning the best ways to treat them how they should be treated if you are going to be having them as a pet um, because years ago people were feeding chinchillas improper food compared to what they're eating now so that's a whole discussion for a bunch of different videos um but yeah i used to watch this channel called chinchilla notebook and they uh sadly were like oh i can't take care of my chinchillas anymore and i plan on having my chinchillas their entire lifetime which is anywhere between 10 to 15 years so i plan on making videos that is educational to you guys um, because I absolutely love them. They're part of my family. And uh, yeah, anyways, that's the video. I'm pointing at my chinchilla cages right now as, as if that, that means anything. Hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you guys subscribe for more chinchilla tips and tricks. And hopefully I keep the name chinchilla fam if you guys like that. So chinchilla fam out, I guess.